consistency. Honestly. Okay. I think yep, that's yep, yep. his strongest suit. If you look at this gaming lineup, I view him as kind of the rock. He is the consistent factor that's always going to give you that. You, you can't really play aggressive with the dive. You just get right click down, get your int sap. Furion's going to put treants on you. Your morph's going to get hit here. It's a very rough safe lane for Aster, and that's where XWI has to make up mid with it. Yeah, he really does. Quinn, he's going. One more Crypt Swarm. He's going to go for it. He gets it. XWI with the first blood. And Quinn got greedy easy. for that double CS, he man. Really and he did. pays the ultimate price. And XWI oh, no. is not even losing He got silenced right before the dive away, so that means Pichu is going to die as well. Oh, dear. In theory, infinite regen. 14 denies. That's pretty rough. He's actually out, almost keeping up with the Enigma, but okay. they do manage to get a kill. That'll help Monet out a lot when it comes to the experience department of gaming gladiators to come over and help him out. Looks like Tofu off that death is going to show up, refill the bottle. Just his presence could do a lot here to I mean, stop they this. Six minute room. There's oh, yeah, they're challenging already. Got they're going to push him back. They do manage to get the block in with the shard onto Tofu, and they've got Pichu here as well to be able to join in. So Tofu's going to be run down pretty easily. And even better, the six minute rune, that power rune spawned bottom. So XWY just, oh, get this kill, get this power rune, back to hitting the tower. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the MOs of Nature's Prophets right now aren't actually using that tall. They're like, I'll do Nature's Wrath, but I'm going to split push for the most part. Duraccio pushing back the Enigma. XXS is going to be able to catch up to him. Hit him with the Malphys, but they have Beast Seed and they have multiple TPs coming in. So Bobica is definitely going to die for this one. He falls, Duraccio stays alive, but they moved all of their heroes up here. Again, you have to you have to be very careful on these overcommittals for Aster. And now you get space somewhere else, which is bottom. Boboka with the fast TP. Gonna really secure this ace nice kill. kill. Yeah, this is huge. Now your Morphling's in a very good position, right? He did not go mask. He did not go any region item. The downside is you're giving some breathing room to Aster, where early game was perhaps their slowest point, and now XWI. Breathing room for Aster, here. but they're going to look to choke out Ace. They will manage to get the snowball on him. Celery's going to show up. Can they get anything out of this? Celery hiding away in the trees. Tofu's here as well. From a distance, they can get a decent amount of damage on Bulbica and maybe get this kill inside the tower range. Look at XWY. He tanked it for Bulbica to allow Bulbica to cut over the side and TP out. Now they go back in. DKB Shiva's death prop this game is a menace. Yeah. Silence is going to be used because Quinn ran out. up into the high ground there, but they did they chain the silence? I think that might have, that was a, not a whole lot of silence there. Meanwhile, they're fighting up the top lane, and Ace is going to show up for this. XXS blocked in after the midnight pulse, but they're going to start backing away from XWY, which is going to be slowed down by Celery. Jirachu just managed to finish off Bulbica, so we're going to have a trade up of supports here. With the exorcism used, I feel like in some ways that was really great for gaming gladiators. That's, That's it. There That's is no other jump or stun in this game. <laughs> so you have a hurricane fight. You're invincible. He's a god. Well, Tofu is far from invincible, but the Tumbler's stoic. Gets him over the shards. Now that's just baited in Bobica. Silence goes out, but they don't need any spells to finish off Bobica. Pretty good ward. Oh, Pichu had just dewarded that. He threw the fire spirits over there. He does manage to get off the egg, though. They're going to turn around and kill it. That's not a problem. But Monet is going to try and take advantage of this by turning into the charge there. But now he's Beautiful locked in goal. and he gets blown up. Where was the backup for Monet? He fought for his support's life. Second item, which is going to be super slow if you don't get this. Which is a huge gaming. opportunity for gaming gladiators yeah, if they take this fight. And it's good. It's going to be a disaster for Astro. They get the initiation on a Bulbicum, Bulbicum. But at the same time, Stormsteer takes some trouble. He gets off the attack, but he dies instead. The XWY with the BKB timing pushes back gaming gladiators. The jump forward from Monet is going to be able to catch Celery as well. And oh no, three of them stacked up. And XWY is beasting on some heroes. Gets pushed away by the Gus. That spirit type is going to be able to break. Hurricane Pike pushes him away. XWY has got to be careful of, of that damage. They will force the Roshan. It's dying very fast here. We've got to scout this. They're smoked it's up gone. on Aster. They know, but they're not going to be able to get there in time. And now the agent is picked up by the Storm Turn. He's going to zip in. Quinn immediately getting the initiation on Bobica once again. He's going to drag him into the bin. Bobica is stuck. He's caught. Aster are going to start retreating, but Pichu can't get out because of that silence from Tofu. A little bit more XWY. Going to pop the exorcism. This is not the fight, though. No, it's not. Already two dead. Global seals Baboka's fate.
Snowball going out the shard, looking to be able to catch somebody. Still, Duraccio is perfectly healthy. XWI tries to run after him, but he goes back to the rest of his team, but now he's going to be caught. Oh, Seller in great positioning, and XWI from a distance is going to get blown apart. The Nature's Prophet Drown Ranger is not to be trifled with. You either all in commit, or you get the hell out of there. This game could end in the next five minutes here. Especially if you take a fight into a high ground ward here. Deck the high ground to see the ward. Bulbica's already been caught though. Quinn has just been making sure Bulbica has no game. Their initiation is gone. So now XWY, well, he's going to be caught as well. Caught inside the uh, sprout. Immediately overgrowth the, after the BKB, which is perfect. XWY is going to try and spirit side and heal himself. Over the side, they do have the supernova. Durante is going to go for the dieback death onto Bulbica and then try and kill the egg. A little bit too much for that, but who cares if the egg explodes? Quinn's going to be able to catch him before he dives away. It's too easy. Still, it's all physical, and you're doing physical into an insanely high armor lineup. But now has another Aegis. You got all the 20 well. talents coming in, the multi shot damage. Tusk X might be able to, you know, help you hold this high ground against an insurmountable lead, basically. But if you smoke out, can't tell her, but they don't kill him, and the overgrowth goes down. They That's get the black hole onto the Supernova, oh. immediately denied by the Global Silence. But the Supernova does survive as a result. XWY is sticking on to Duraccio. Duraccio pushes them away, though, and XWY couldn't commit. He was pushed too far away, and Quinn recommits back in. Duraccio is going to help them run down, and that is it. An absolute stomp for Gain and Gladiators over Aster in this game one. There was no question who showed up, showed up to this first game. We are going to be witnessing the game two draft between Game and Gladiators and Team Aster. Aster need this win definitely. I don't know if Quinn wants to be in base this much, but he's not being given a choice here. And Tofu will say, your XP is now mine, son. XWY, he, <laughs> he's taking on any challenge. Anybody who shows up the lane is going to get a punch. And Tofu, not as tanky as uh, Quinn's Batrider, is going to fall. Meanwhile, that leaves Ace all alone in the top lane. Monet and Pichu, once again, going to go for it. Slow down, they get a second and snare. That's going to be another kill. Aster, I mean, this is looking like a situation of win lanes, win game. It's a little Tidehunter cosplay, you know? <laughs> of course, that got banned out. I know how much Ace loves that hero. And Vision on the high ground, they're gonna use it to snowball catch Celery. And with his Give heal, it's gonna delay his death, but eventually will fall to Nature's Wrath claim. He didn't get the hit. hit. There's not a way to deal with this map pressure to join other fight. He scales immensely hard. And Ace, he needs two vanguards for this, son. Yeah, he really does. He's gonna do what damage he can, but he knows he's dead. His teammates cannot get to him in time. To say or faster dispels for the supports potentially. Timings are everything. Tofu. Down. Smoke screen used as well. Sets in the snowball with the Underlord coming in. They do manage to get the lasso just in the last sec. Ace is going to help deliver some damage here. Snowball back in. He just does what damage he can to Quinn. And Quinn almost dies for it. The curse is not going to take him out. But instead, they go to the other side of the map. Hopefully, they get something out they of find this. A bigger prize. Ah, Duraccio, Alina kill would be massive. Tofu is going to try and help him out with the smoke screen, but he doesn't have Sleeping Dart just yet. They do have the Nature's Prophet who's going to be joining them, but Duraccio with that four staff got a little bit of distance. Now the Overgrowth is going to be used to hold them in place, and they're going to be able to get Tofu as well. So, two nice kills for the side of Aster. All you want to do is find Quinn, find Duraccio before they get the VGVs, and kill him as many times as you can right now. Get Pavoka involved. This is the perfect type of setup. Nice two-man curse with the snowball cutting him off as well. A punch up in the air. XWY. The Crimson Guard is not going to do enough to protect Quinn. And now left alone. Ace is going to try and get through the teleport. Go, go, go. Calls the taxi and gets himself out of dodge. And will be able to get back to the fountain. But he said shutting down the Batrider is all important. So I'm sure Aster are not too sad about that. Now you're going to try. He's got, he's got, got a, a double damage on XWY. So Crimson Guard. Okay, do they have enough stuns here? They, they have another Walrus punch, so he's going to time it. Half a second left on that TP away. So really well done by XWY. Stalling and layering those disables pretty nicely. This is kind of his early game power spike. You can also just dodge it if you're after. Chase after Ron Taranjo here. He does manage to skirt around both the Sprout and the Shard. They lost vision of him. Of course, they know the he's cliff. over here on this uh, corner. He's going to go ahead and force over the cliff. Go for a TP up. The Snowball's going to catch him, though. XWY. Manages to close that gap just fast enough. A pretty good juke by Duraccio, but not good enough. If you're having a good game like he's having, 
don't necessarily want to go. Oh, getting baited from the illusion. Quinn immediately pops BKB with the lasso, but the overgrowth is pretty nice. Immediately used the illusion to get rid of that one, but the four staffs are able to get XWY out of here. And Monet thinking about going in. They're going to have to leave the tree and protect her behind. Bye bye, Siamese Cat. He's going to have to rely on one of his eight other lives. I agree. I don't think after a combo. Oh, by what is either. that? A four staff up to the high ground? That's just nasty right An there. An offensive four staff. A nasty move. Oh, but, but he did him dirty. No, right no lasso, it. no BKB on bat. Is this a fight for gaming if they're not the ones set up? Hit okay. dropped. Here comes that portal. He's going to show himself there. right away. XWY just wants to fight right away while they're a bit separated. They're going to go for it, but the four staff gets him over the high ground. Monet has now popped its BKB and retreating with it. Not a great sign for Aster, as they're going to get caught by the Sleeping Dart, at least on Bobica. Bye-bye, Bobica. Trying to give him a help with the Force Staff, and it actually makes things worse. And now, Gaming Gladiators, they're the ones back into the pit. Yeah, overgrowth in three, but no BKBs. It's, it's funny how both teams, in one little small support pickoff, both teams looking at that Roshan going, we have the advantage, we should force it, and Gaming Gladiators... Kiting is the name of the game here, especially when you're playing a Wiener lineup. You want to maintain the gap. You want to just prolong the fight as long as possible. Going to have to start dealing with these at some point. Anybody help out this troll? He doesn't have BKB, yeah, and he's no stuck help. inside the silence. Can he get out of it? No, the flame break. Oh, he just barely dies from all of that. Not that I think Battle Trance would have done anything to save him. Just be annoying. Oh, they're actually going to go for it with the portal. All of Aster's here, though. I don't know if Gaming you know that. Yeah, they're going to all file into this portal, and they're going to start for it. Monet is just going to lay into Delina, but at the same time, the SDH is the Crimson Guard. He protected Delina entirely. He took no damage whatsoever. Oh, man. It's a nice carry you have there. That was a little embarrassing. Yeah, it's not even oh reduction, so he's really suffering. Snowball going to be used. XWY stalling up Quinn's aggressive move here. Pops BKB before the lasso goes out, too. Can the rest of the team get here? Oh, look at that. Jirachu's already here. He waves goodbye, though. His BKB lasts just long enough. But hey, they managed to catch the silencer, at least. Tofu catches them with the sleeping dart. Fulvica. He has Satanic. He has all the auras and force to have behind him. Quinn's in a little bit of trouble. Really nice catch. I mean, they were showing nobody up here in this top lane. They kill Quinn, and now they're going to TP back. So, I mean, I feel like that's kind of a desperate move. You're pretty much giving up your tier three at a chance of getting a kill. But honestly, I take that. <laughs> yeah? I take Quinn over a tier three. Oh, oh my god, he just tried to TP happen. away like that. Daraggio has his TP canceled. He's going to fight back, though. XXS, he's got to keep his distance here. Make sure those last couple shots. Oh, so close. 50 health is all he had, Daraccio. He does manage to get off that Satanic. He's laying into XWY. He's getting that full heal. XWY's in trouble, and he's not going to be able to get the blink away. Hey, and Celery laying into Monet, and Daraccio is on his way. LSA thrown out just to speed him up a little bit more as he threw it on the creeps. Bobica pushed out all of Gaming Gladiators to Nullifier, put to use, but where's the hit? Nullifier doesn't do a damn thing if nobody's willing to fight back. Aster are just huddled inside of their fountain right now. There is no fighting back. What is the fighting back? This Quinn buys after that kill bottom. Your troll can't enter the fight. He enters it during BKB. Single four staff. Duracho is away. Fight's reset. This game is over. He beat out basically in front of Aster. And I don't know if intentional or not, but baited out an amazing fight for Gaming Gladiators, which will take two lanes to barracks. Yeah. It's just hard to use. Now you have to sync it up too, right? You have to nullify whoever troll goes on. You have to really make the fight Aggressive force staff, but it defensive force staff gets him out of the snowball. The shard does manage to catch too, but the team is so far away. Now they get the lasso on XWY. Monet. Oh, man. Another one. BKB straight up to Duraggio and instant force staff solves everything. They use the nullifier on to Ace. They're going to try and kill the other one, but it's not even going to be close. Monet living on a prayer and is now going to die on one as well. Jump over. This is just... It's just done. Gaming Gladiators are rolling over this team fight. They're going to take that tier two. That could have actually been pretty good based on the positioning, but not there in time, and that's just a game. GG. Four staff into the lower bracket here. <laughs> push down, and Gaming Gladiators will push themselves forward. One step in the upper bracket.